So the golden rule for when you should refer out. When in doubt, refer out. I say it again, when in doubt, refer out. If you need to go to your NLP trainer to ask if you should work with this client or not, or to ask what you should do, and there's no like, is this something I could do or not, like some specifics, then you're asking me to design your coaching session because you don't know what to do, right? There's doubt there. That means that you're out of your league. You need to work on smaller things first. And here I find it mind boggling. People right away want to work on something as big as post-traumatic stress disorder or post-traumatic growth. I mean, there are plenty of clients out there, plenty of people out there that, that need to understand how to goal set <laughs> or overcome a smaller fear or stepping into confidence or, or, or having a conversation where the unconscious can become conscious. Can you please work with the smaller clients first? They're not smaller clients, they're just not these huge presenting problems. So when you feel that sense of doubt, then refer out. However, doubt is something different than insecurity and self-esteem issues. So you need to understand where the doubt comes from. If the doubt comes from you really shouldn't be working with the client, or the doubt comes that you should have more practice, that's a great reason to refer on. If it's self-doubt because of self-esteem issues, then work on yourself and take the client anyway. You also, everybody has to jump into the deep end at some point, so just go do it. Go do it. If the doubt comes, this is my first client, then you take the client. Because if you've never had your first person to work with, you're going to keep referring out because you keep having doubt. 